Just wanted to share a quick little rundown of a uh, electronic restrictor plate or throttle body that I made for a buddy of mine. Um, so basically power it up. It does a seek really quick to calibrate the TPS so it knows where, zero, where completely closed and completely open is. Flashing green light tells you that it has power and it is in a fail safe park position um, basically reduced power mode um, the idea behind this is to allow you to get maximum torque down low and then as you start coming into your power peak where there's a power restriction for the class you're running it'll start to kind of close down to a predetermined uh, area based on an input provided uh, by PWM output of a computer or whatnot so Flashing green light means you don't have signal to it just yet. I'll add a little bit of a signal to it. Nice little red flash let you know that uh, it's actually moving. Stays green, letting you know there's power to it, so I have full control over it. And push this little button right here. Goes back to zero, and then it goes to a predetermined park position. Flashing red and green that lets you know that it's in a program mode. Um, this pot right here basically adjusts the fail safe position. So if you see I'm sitting there turning it, you can adjust where the throttle stop will go if you lose um, your TPS or if something happens, um, like you lose your signal or whatever, uh, it'll go to this predetermined part so you don't um, run excessive horsepower and basically get you disqualified from the class uh, so we'll get out of park mode or program mode goes back to wherever we're commanding it to be now let's just say for instance um, we lose the TPS so I'll unplug the TPS really quick you see we got It's trying to find the TPS. It's not working. It basically now is locked out. It will not allow you to go back uh, until you do a hard power cycle on it. It's now in a park position um, in restricted power mode, so you don't, you know, have excessive horsepower run out of class. So lock this back up again. <clears throat> Reset the module. Now let's say uh, let's say we lost our signal to it. So I'm going to simulate losing the signal. Now I lost my signal, and you saw the air flash. Now it's ship giving a flashing green because it's waiting for a signal again. Um, it will do this about five times, uh, so you're not completely locked out and have to power cycle it. Give it signal back again. You see, we regain control of it. Um, let's just say, for instance, it's trying to close, but there's a foreign object in the way. Um, let's see if I can do this with. I went outside of uh, my signal limits. Let's just say there's a pair of needle nose pliers or something in there. And it gave you an error saying, ah, oh, wait, there's something wrong here. So it's actually kind of smart. It will, uh, it'll know. Even if I come in here and I kind of move it by hand, gave you another error letting you know, hey, there's something going on here. And it'll do that a handful of times, then it'll eventually lock you out and it'll go to a fail safe mode um, again so that you don't, uh, you know, have excessive horsepower and run out of class. So. Thought it was kind of interesting. Spent a lot of time on it. There's 560 lines of code or something like that running this thing. And uh, it's all based on 18 mega microprocessor. Kind of got uh, some regulators and some good stuff in there. But uh, yeah, just wanted to share it with you. Let you guys see what I'm up to. Talk to you later.